Hello everyone, welcome to MS Active Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create a new security group and add members in Azure Active Directory using Azure Active Directory Admin Center. An Azure Active Directory group helps organize users, making it easier to manage permissions. Using groups, the resource owner assign a set of access permissions to all the members of the group instead of having to provide the rights one by one. Groups allow us to define a security boundary and then add and remove specific users to grant or deny access with a minimum amount of effort. Azure Active Directory helps you to manage your cloud-based applications, on-premise applications and resources by using our organization's group. We can create a security group using the Azure Active Directory portal. For that, we need to access and log in to the Azure Active Directory portal. You can access it using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com. On dashboard, under favorites, I'm going to click on Azure Active Directory. We are using the user account with global administrator role to create new security group. Under manage, click on groups. Right now, we don't have any group created in our Azure Active Directory tenant. Click on new group icon to create a new group. Azure Active Directory allows you to define two types of groups, security groups and Microsoft 365 groups. Security groups are the most common and are used to manage member and computer access to shared resources for a group of users. For example, you can create a security group for specific security policy. By doing it this way, you can give a set of permissions to all the members at once instead of having to add permissions to each member individually. This option requires an Azure Active Directory Administrator. On other end, Microsoft 365 groups provide collaboration opportunities by giving members access to a shared mailbox, calendar, files, SharePoint sites, and more. This option also lets you give people outside of your organization access to the group. We have used this group very well in Exchange Online tutorials. Here, Choose security as a group type. And if you want to select Microsoft 365 group type, that time you need to click on this drop down arrow and select Microsoft 365 as a type of your group. We'll go with security. Enter the name of your group. Here I'm giving name, content, team. We can also add a short description for this group. Turn on Azure AD roles can be assigned to the group. This switch is visible to only privileged role administrators and global administrators because these are only two roles that can set the switch. Now select the members and owners for this group. You can also have the option to assign role to a group but assigning a role isn't required here. Click on no owner selected link. Select the user which you want to set as a group owner. I'm going to select Manhir Rakulia and click on select. Now click on no member selected link to add members to this group. Select the user which you want to add as a group member. Let's search for Parita Borda. Select the user and click on select again. If you want, you can select and add more than one user at the same time as a member of this group. Click on no role selected link. From this page, you can select the directory roles if you want to assign the roles to the group. And that I don't want. So I'm going to close it. After the members and owners are specified, select create to create a group. We will see a warning about Azure AD roles. Creating a group to which Azure AD role can be assigned is a setting that cannot be changed later. Are you sure you want to add this capability? Click on yes and wait for the confirmation message. 
we can see the message successfully created group name content team the group is not available in the all groups list uh, let me click on refresh and here we can see a group name content team this is the object id group type is security and membership type is assign so we can confirm that the group has been created successfully now click on group name from this page we can modify the properties of that group first click on members tab right now we can see we have a parita boda listed as a member of this group if you want to add other user as a member then click on add members from this i'm going to select taste user 1 click on select wait for the confirmation message taste user 1 is now member of this security group click on refresh okay it is still not there okay now we can see taste user 1 is also listed there then click on owners here we can see manhar rakulia is listed as a owner of this security group if you want to add another owner again you just need to click on add owners and select the user which you want to add as a owner for this group then we have options for roles and administrators then we have options for administrative units you can assign this group to specific administrative unit and for that you just need to click on assign to a administrative unit i think in the last video we have created one administrative unit named india i'm going to select it and click on select wait for the confirmation message and now membership has been added to india so now this group is in india administrative unit then we have a group membership as well but that i'm not going to cover here uh in this video we have created one security group named content team and we have also seen that how we can add owners or members to that security group that concludes the video on how to create and manage group in azure active directory using azure active directory admin center thank you all for watching this video have a nice day